Hey guys, welcome back to my channel at Official Alma Studios. We will hope you understand cryptocurrency. Well, today I'm going to be explaining what the conditional order on Gato.io Sport is all about. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification button so that you get updates whenever we make our post. So guys, let's go to our Gato.io. I hope you know where we can get those um, conditional orders strictly in your sports trade so for you to go to your trade first of all you need to go and open your trades here so let's tap on the trade so like I, like you know in my previous video i explained the limit order which is the first thing that is always in the the first type of order on on your sports as you can see it here so for us to get to the conditional order you need to tap on it Let's tap on the limit order and we'll see options. Here is the conditional order. So let's tap on it. So now I'll be explaining the conditional order for buy and for sell. So now this conditional order, as you can see, it's brought out an option here that says trigger price. As you can see, there is already a price here, but it's also say a trigger price. So now this um, conditional order is an order based on condition now let's say the price of btc is 38.19181 and you want to buy at a cheaper price so you can either reduce it here you can either reduce it here or you can just type the price you want to buy as you can see the current price of btc now let's say we want to buy when the price of BTC gets to 38,150, yeah, it's just 38,150. But you don't want to miss out. So because you don't want to miss out, you're going to set a trigger price so that whenever it gets to that trigger price, you will know um, that it is time for you to buy. So now for us to see our trigger price, you are the one to set a trigger price. So you can say, okay, when it gets to 38,152 or 15, okay, let's just say 38,150.59. That issue alert you. It's more like a trigger. Then you click on confirm. Then you now click on the amount you want to sell. So the conditional order is an order, and this helps you. You know what? Um, the essence of this conditional order. Let me tell you guys. This conditional order helps you to place your orders, even if you are not online. Even if you are not online. So for instance, you want to buy. BTC when the price of BTC gets to 38,150. So now let me show you one important thing here. When you scroll down here, when you scroll down here, here, now you can see a place that says one day. You can see a place that says, when you tap on it, you see options for, you see options for two day, seven day, 15 days. Now you can set it for two days. Or let's set it for seven days. This means that you want to buy BTZ at the price of 38,000. Okay, for instance, we already said 38,150. So now, even if it takes seven days for this price to um, to get to, for it to get to this price, let it not pass seven days. So, but even if it takes seven days for it to get to this price, just keep this price for me. This is the price I want to buy BTC, guys. So this is what conditional order is all about so you now click on buy to buy so the same goes for selling let's say you want to sell and you want to sell at a very high price let's say you want to sell at um 39,000 39,200 okay 9,200 so you know say you want to sell your btc at 39,200 the 9200 is more like the trigger price. So you, maybe you don't want to sell at 39200 per se, but you want to sell at maybe something close to that. Maybe you really want to, you, you, maybe you wanted to sell at 39000 Okay, let's say you want to sell at 39200 
But yes. you now set a, a trigger that when it get, when the price gets to thirty nine thousand one hundred or one fifty. Okay, let's just say when the price gets to thirty nine thousand one hundred, you receive a trigger that is time for you to sell. So when the price gets to um thirty nine thousand two hundred, whether or not you are online, it will automatically sell for you. Most times they set the trigger to be the same price, uh, to be the same thing with the price, so that when the time gets to uh, maybe. Um, you can say, okay, when the trigger gets to 39,100, it should sell for you at 39,102. Or when it gets to 39,100, it should sell for you at 39,110. Mm -hmm. So, guys, this is just then you set your amount. You, know, you slide your amount, the amount you want to sell. Then also remember that your sell, your days, your transaction is valid for this number of days, seven days, which means even if it takes seven days for you to get to 39,100, um, it should just be there for you. It should just be there for you. So, guys, this is how um, you can do. This is just a simple explanation of what the conditional trade is on the gate.io. Um, sports trading do not hesitate to drop your comment or question in the comment box please and subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up for this video see you in my next class bye